Donald J. Trump have made a very significant, a very bold statement regarding the Hindus in Bangladesh very recently on November the 1st and he said this, I strongly condemn the barbaric violence against Hindus, Christians and other minorities who were getting attacked and looted by mobs in Bangladesh. And he went on to saying that Kamala and Joe ignored the Hindus all around the world and in America. And he has a point. Now, although I, I understand that he made this statement right before the election day, November the 5th, just in a couple of days, but this statement is a very timely and a very welcoming gesture by Donald J. Trump because, you know, like since August 5th, a coup has taken place and the former Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina in Bangladesh have been ousted. And since this ouster, Hindu life have become a nightmare in Bangladesh. Like hundreds of temples have been vandalized. Hundreds of men, women and children have been either murdered, like lynched in many cases, or they have been raped, sexually assaulted, they have been hacked to death. In some cases, they even have been burned alive. And they have been threatened like what is the most disturbing thing that many of these victims are not even, you know, coming out in public to talk about these things because they have been, they have been threatened. I heard again, these are all like, these are rumors that in the middle of the night, many of the rape victims, out of shame, obviously, they cannot talk about these, these things in public. But in the middle of the night, especially like in the rural areas, many Hindu girls are being raped. Like I'm talking about thousands. The Muslims are going into the houses. These are poor household. These people are extremely poor. They are, they are not rich people. They're barely scraping by. So these so-called miscreants, these, uh, you know, like these savages, they're going into the houses in the middle of the night and they're raping these women and they're threatening them for life. That if you talk about these things, the next day you'll be murdered. So a lot of atrocities being, being committed right now as I speak. And many of these atrocities are going unnoticed. They're going out of the public view. The life of the Hindus have become a nightmare since the ouster of Sheikh Hasina. So this is a very timely and very welcoming gesture by Donald J. Trump, who has highlighted the plight of the Hindus currently in Bangladesh. And if you think about Kamala Harris and Joe Biden, like what they did, the Biden administration have been completely silent about those atrocities that are being perpetrated against the Hindu minorities in Bangladesh. And of course, there are reports that suggest that this Biden administration has actually facilitated in the ouster of Sheikh Hasina in Bangladesh. Biden wanted Yunus, like the current uh, head of the interim government, to, you know, to uh, instill to get the, the change in, in the regime in Bangladesh. And that has led to not only many deaths and now, of course, lots of brutalities being carried out against the Bangladesh, against the Hindus in Bangladesh. Now, of course, Biden administration knew that the, the Islamist, right, the, the radical Islamic groups will, will take hold of the situation despite the fact that he knew about this uprising of the radical radical Islamism in Bangladesh, he nonetheless supported this coup. 
And as a result, now millions of Hindus are, you know, facing brutality. Millions of lives, Hindu lives are, you know, jeopardized. And ever since 5th of August, hundreds of temples have been vandalized. Hundreds of women have been sexually assaulted, raped, molested. So all of these things happened over the last couple of months. And this statement couldn't be more timely than this. And as you can understand that it has touched, like uh, this statement has touched lots of Hindus all around the world because we feel the pain of our brothers and sisters living in Bangladesh right now, the life that they're going through. There are thousands of people on the street just a couple of days ago in Chittagong, like I'm talking about thousands, tens of thousands of people on the street. They are rallying, they are protesting, right? There are videos in, in social media, there are posts after posts after posts where people are, you know, expressing their plight. People have been sexually assaulted. Many women have been raped. Their husbands have been murdered. And their houses have been, like their houses have been looted. They have been attacked in the middle of the night. I heard like, again, lots of rape victims. They are not actually coming in public because, you know, like rape, it's a, it's an instance of shame. So a lot of people are out of shame. They are not coming into the public, but they are being secret, secretly, like a lot of Hindus being secretly murdered. A lot of Hindu women being raped in the middle of the night. So Donald Trump's statement is very welcoming and it is like, you know, it's heartwarming as a Hindu, as a fellow Hindu to see that a Christian, Donald J. Trump, like not just a Christian, like a, not just an ordinary Christian, although like an ordinary Christian's voice obviously count, but the 47th incumbent of the United States presidential election, when he put such an emphasis on this issue, it definitely warms my heart as a Hindu. So I hope that all the other leaders, all the other prominent figures will, will stand by this statement. They will also, you know, show their solidarity, so show their support for the Hindus in, in Bangladesh and for the people around the world. Please do not remain silent about these atrocities. It was, you know, 2014, it was the Yazidis. You saw what the savages of ISIS have done to those poor victims of Yazidis in, in 2014. And it was 2023 when the Jews fell victim to these savages. Like you saw the October the 7th massacres. Even the blood stain, in some cases, even the blood stain hasn't even been washed out. Right now I'm talking about like girls, many women have been shot in their private parts. They have been shredded into pieces. The level of horrific sexual violence have been perpetrated against the innocent Jewish women who have been just out and about, you know, having fun and enjoying the music festival on October the 7th. And the same thing is now happening in Bangladesh against the Hindus and of course other minorities. So it is a very welcoming gesture and a very heartwarming feeling for millions of hundreds of millions of Hindus all around the world. So if you stand for humanity, it doesn't matter which community you belong to, if you're a Hindu, Buddhist, Christian, Muslim, what, whatever community you belong to, please do not remain silent about the atrocities that are being carried out against the Hindus and other minorities in Bangladesh right now, because they need your voice, they need your support. So Donald J. Trump, thank you very much for your concern that you raised about the Hindus in Bangladesh. All the Hindus all over the world, we wish you all the best. And of course, um, we will we will like to see this kind of support from many other leaders, like all the global leaders, if they line up, show their solidarity, so show their support. It will be, you know, like it will be a great victory for humanity to see that a lot of people all around the world are talking about these atrocities that are currently being carried out against the Hindus in Bangladesh. So thank you for listening and I will catch up with you on the next one. Bye for now.